guys, I am finally back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be telling you guys like fall essentials or something like that. Or like I'm going to be showing you like what you can wear in the fall, what colors, like jackets and all that stuff that you can wear in the fall. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So first I'm going to start with the shirts. Like personally what I like to wear in the fall is like more like earthy colors, like down to earth colors. That'd be like brown, black burgundy uh stuff like that like navy navy blue what that don't even make any sense navy blue that's not fall but like just like down to earth colors so that's what i like to wear in the fall i'm going to show you some shirts that i got that are down to earth colors first shirt is just a brown t-shirt it's wrinkly because it's been in my drawer for like forever because i haven't worn it in a long time but it's just this brown t-shirt what is that white thing boy okay i don't know what that is but okay so it's just this brown t-shirt so that's it it's just a brown t-shirt like you can wear brown with so many things i know people don't like wearing brown for some reason but you can wear brown with many things like i like to wear it with camo yeah you can actually wear brown with a lot of stuff the next thing is burgundy this burgundy t-shirt i wear this shirt i don't wear it a lot but i do wear it but it's this burgundy t-shirt. Now burgundy is like a fall color. Like when I think of fall, I think of burgundy. Like, yeah, so it's just this burgundy t-shirt. I like to wear burgundy with black. Like that's the only thing I wear burgundy with is with black. But I'm pretty sure you can find other colors to match and coordinate that. But I, I like to wear it with black. Now the next thing is um like nude colors now nude colors been really in for some reason i don't know why but especially turtlenecks have been really in too so like i got nude color shirt and turtleneck but this is this shirt is like a suede material yes it's like a suede material so it's different but yeah nude color been in a lot i wear nude with black I wear everything with black. I wear nudes with black and like khaki color. Actually, no, that is ugly. No, never mind. No khaki color. No khaki color. I wear nude with black, and that's about it. I don't think I wear nude with anything else that I wear. I'm pretty sure you can find any other color that matches nude. I'm pretty sure you can. But yeah, I just wear it with black through. But turtlenecks are really in too for some reason. Like, I don't know why. But I got tons of turtlenecks. Like, I really do. Next shirt I am about to show you in is also a color that have been really in style and everything is this olive green color. And it's also kind of a turtleneck. It's kind of a turtleneck, but it's not like up here. It's like right here. But yeah, so it's just in olive green shirt that says 1990 on it i <laughs> once again i wear olive green with black and white yes black and white that's what i wear it with is black and white so i got this from uh h&m but this color have been really in a lot but it, it shows up like a weird like this is like in person is more of a green it shows up like a more of a blue on camera that's weird but trust me it's an olive green this has really been in style a lot lately and last but not least is another turtleneck and this is really like a turtleneck comes up to like about right here but it's just this black long sleeve turtleneck it's not thick or it's not really thin, but this turtleneck, you can like fold it down and stuff, mm. but I like to wear it up. My phone just buzzed. I don't know if you heard that or not, but that sounded weird. But I like to wear my turtlenecks like midway. I don't like to wear them like all the way up here. That's just ugly and it'd be too hot for all that. But it's just a long sleeve black turtleneck. You know, pretty sure you guys can wear black with anything like you can wear black with yellow, blue, red. You can wear it with anything. So yeah, I will. I like to wear turtlenecks with high-waisted jeans. I don't know why. Now I am going to just move on to the shoes. I know this is kind of weird. I started with the shirts, now I'm going all the way down to the shoes. But it says I'm gonna go to thy shoes. So just like my shirts, as with my shoes, I like to wear like earthy colored shoes or like just any like not no like pop and shoes like. I wouldn't wear like a neon green shoe or like neon blue or neon pink neon like all that neon stuff 
in the fall doesn't go right like that's just that's like summer type stuff in spring so like first pair of shoes just like whoa that's dirty at the bottom but like just like some all white pair of shoes it doesn't matter it can be all white converses all white bands all white it doesn't even matter but these are just pumas so yes just all white pairs of shoes all white pairs of shoes are an essential because like they go with anything and they look good with anything that you wear it doesn't really matter because they're just all white but the downside is they do get really dirty fast like these are like super dirty but that also makes them look better to me a little bit if they're like a little dirty but not too dirty that makes them look better to me so yeah so you can just wear white with anything really it doesn't really matter next pair of shoes i like to wear in the fall are these like these are all like the down to earth colors for real it's red and like that brownish color and like yeah it's just like really fall color because like red is a fall color so i like to wear these but i don't wear them anymore but i should start wearing them like i don't know i don't really have anything that be looking right with these shoes but yeah you can wear these with black shirt you can wear black white you can even wear nude or like a khaki color with these shoes and then so next you can have in black and white pair of shoes doesn't matter which kind just a uh, black and white pair of shoes these are just nmds doesn't really matter which kind of black and white pair of shoes just some black white pair of shoes because once again they go with everything and like you don't have to worry about oh does this match that or does this match that that's why like the majority of my shoes are black or white so yeah and then last but not least you have to have some all black shoes i mean like all black like doesn't matter like i said doesn't matter which kind just all black shoes because they match everything once again like i wear these a lot and i when i tell you a lot i wear them a lot like these are like my go-to shoes like if i can't find anything to match my other shoes these are the shoes i'm wearing so most likely you're gonna see me wearing these if you see me in person it's so like i wore these today like you're gonna see me wearing these because they match with everything that, that i got like today i just wore all black and like this jacket because it got like a lot of colors on it so i was like you know what? i'm just wear all black so yeah just some all black pairs of shoes that's really dirty at the bottom it's just disgusting. now the next thing i'm going to start with is like the pants jeans like and all that stuff so the first thing of course like i think like every girl should have is a pair of leggings like it doesn't even like i only got one pair of leggings i don't even wear them but i only have one pair of leggings just some black leggings you can have multiple color leggings which I really like when people wear multiple color leggings, like it's really pretty. But I just prefer all black leggings. Like once again, they go with everything and like leggings are super, super comfortable. Like, and these are like in fall, you don't want to be like all like wearing skinny jeans and tight pants and stuff like that to me. That just annoys me because I like to wear baggy pants and like baggy stuff in the fall. But yes, all black leggings are an essential because like it's not even a fall essential like it's a winter essential too so yeah so just some all black leggings i got these from forever 21. so so next that you can wear that's baggy pants it's like mom jeans or boyfriend jeans whatever you want to call them but i got two pair of them i got these both from the thrift store because that's where you can find them that's for the cheap because like mom jeans and boyfriend jeans and stuff, they be costing like 40 some dollars for one pair of jeans. I am not going. Go to the thrift store, get you some. And yeah, so the first pair, pretty sure everybody I've seen, is just these ones that I ripped myself. I, well, that's not showing on camera. Okay, okay. So I had ripped these myself because it was all plain and boring. I don't like that. So I had ripped these myself. I will insert a picture of me wearing the jeans if I can find a picture. I'll insert a picture but these are really really comfortable and like I love these pants so much and they kind of give you like the 90s vibe which I really like so then the other one is just just some plain ones you know nothing why is the zipper like all the way down okay I'll zip them back up okay so they're just some plain ones because I have to have some plain ones but I need to buy more so yeah, there's just some plain blue 
mom jeans. Then for those people who like to get dressy doing during the fall, I had, okay, well, number one, this, okay, this skirt is not button, button up at all, but okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. So, this skirt, okay, this is what it looks like. This is a velvet, I was gonna say red velvet. <laughs> this is a velvet skirt. The material is velvet and the color is burgundy. And you know, okay, I'm gonna button it up real quick, hold up. Okay, I am back and the skirt is all buttoned up now. Okay, so it's this skirt and this will be perfect with the leggings I just showed you guys. So yeah, it's just a velvet burgundy skirt. And I think this goes well, real well with fall because of the color and the style of the skirt. And it also gives off a 95 too, so loving it. So yeah. But like, I don't think I can wear this to school they might say it's too short. Like, it's not even short. But you know how schools be, they won't let you wear nothing. But yeah, so I will wear this with a black or white shirt. Yeah, that's what I always wore this with, with the black or white shirt. Okay, last but not least, I am going to be moving on to the jacket. So, the first essential, like, as a jacket for the fall, I think you should have at least one windbreaker. Windbreakers are supposed to be for people who run in the wind, but, you know, I don't run. So, I just got them that like that, and I'm pretty sure people do that too. I'm pretty sure they don't run. But yes, I'm gonna show you the windbreakers that I have. So the first windbreaker, and I haven't worn in so long, is this windbreaker. And it's showing up blue on camera, but is but it is purple. It is purple. It's an A6 windbreaker. So windbreakers is that, hate that so much. But yeah, so it's a purple, black, red, and white windbreaker. And like the reason I like to wear these in the fall because they're not too heavy or they're not too thin and they're like and like I like the style so like doesn't really matter what you wear with a windbreaker I mean you can wear any color with the windbreaker for real that's what I do like it doesn't really matter so the next windbreaker that I had had for so long I had bought this in the summer but finally got to wear it one time and I wore it inside one video because you know I couldn't find a shirt so I put on a windbreaker but I'm pretty sure you guys seen this. If you follow me on Instagram and stuff, or and Snapchat and all that stuff, you have seen this windbreaker. It's just a pink and a navy blue windbreaker. And like this color is not fall at all. But I have worn this with a brown tank top because like I was like rushing and I had a brown tank top on, so I just threw on this and it kind of matched. Like I would never ever put those two combinations together. But yeah, it's just matched so. Yeah, so that's the other one breaker. I got plenty more one breakers, but I don't need to show you all of those. So hey, so last but not least, I think everybody should have at least one camo jacket. Cause like camo is just like go with anything. Well not wait, let me let me back up. Not anything. But it go with a lot of stuff, like a lot of like you can wear like the colors on the camo jacket. Like I wore that color before with the camo jacket, so it really doesn't matter. But just don't wear like a like a yellow shirt with this. I mean, does that look right? I don't know. I don't think it will look right. I don't think I'll wear it, but go ahead, go ahead and wear it if you want to. But I usually wear either the colors on the camo jacket or similar to it, not like directly matching. <coughs> Whoa okay and and i wear like black so yeah, that's why i wear with my camo jacket but i think everybody should have at least a camo jacket inside their closet or a shirt or camo shirt camo jeans or something like that something camo oh so i hope you guys enjoyed that video and before i go i need you guys to like comment some video ideas because i really don't know what to do like I want you guys to comment like fashion related videos like you know what I'm talking about like what I just did and stuff like that because like I don't do all that like pizza challenge Pringles challenge like that's not what I want my channel to be so I don't like doing that stuff but I'll try to sneak in one of those here and there but what my channel is basically about is like that fashion based stuff you know clothes shoes you know all that stuff 
So like comment down if you want to see like outfit ideas, hauls and all of that stuff, outfit of the days, what goes with what. So just comment that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye.